primary six, we are still on our topic sound energy. Now, in this topic of sound energy, we talked about some areas, but today specifically, we are going to talk about storing and reproducing stored sound. But my first question, what are sound devices? That is my first question here. I can pose my question as what are sound devices? What are sound devices? This is my topic, uh, my first question uh, under the lesson which we are looking at. What are sound devices? Then this one becomes the first uh, question. I'm asking, I know very many answers are going to come out from you, but when somebody talks about sound devices, uh, these are materials used when recording and producing sound. Sound devices, sound devices are materials used when recording, are materials used when recording and reproducing sound. Are materials used when recording and reproducing sound. These are what we call the sound devices. These materials, we can use them to record or to reproduce. And now let us look at, now we can store sound. Uh, sometimes when we are storing sound, uh, we, can, uh, we can use different materials like the compact discs. But let us look specifically at methods of storing sound. Methods used to store sound. Methods used to store sound. Methods used to store sound. One, the first method is by recording sound on devices, meaning there are different devices. Another one is by writing uh, after recording as the first one, then you have by writing in sulfur notation, by writing in sulfur notation. So we can record sound on devices. Now, which devices are we going to use to record sound? Uh, sound devices used to record or store sound are uh, devices, examples of devices used to record and store sound. Examples of devices used to record and store sound. What are those devices? Uh, the first of the devices is video compact disc. We have audio compact disc. One, we have cassette tapes. We have cassette tapes. We have video. We have comp digital video disc. We have digital video discs, which we call the DVDs. DVD. Then we have compact discs. We have compact discs. Uh, this one we call them CDs. We have CDs, we have DVDs, we have VCDs. Video
video compact discs video compact discs we have video compact discs we have video compact discs what we call the vcds video compact discs digital video discs compact discs then the cassette tapes there are very many but you only take a few i will add even others like you can talk about the computer discs because the ones you have at home talk about computer discs uh, with very many others so computer discs are also examples of devices are uh, used uh, to record and store sound. Now, I have to call the devices used to reproduce the stored sound. Uh, these ones, they can be used by playing. So, some stored sound can be reproduced by playing the devices with the stored sound in compact magnetic disc players. We can play them in the disc players. Uh, let us look at examples of devices used to reproduce stored sound. Examples of devices used to reproduce to reproduce Stored sound. Examples of devices used to reproduce stored sound. Wherever you see here that we put that these are uh, devices which store sound in the in the player, like they're telling us, we put them. To play, we play the stored sound in the compact magnetic disc players. Now the examples have red cassette uh, tape players or radio cassettes. Number one, we have radio cassettes. In the radio cassette, we put the cassette tapes. Uh, then we have video disc players. We have video displayers. Another device, we have the computer monitor. We have computer monitor. Another one, I said that we have uh, radio cassette, uh, video displayers, uh, computer monitors. Then we have others like uh, gramophones and digital gramophones. Let us look at gramophones, gramophones and digital video displayers. Digital video. Displayers. Then etc. Digital disc players. Ah, uh, when they tell us uh, the solifa notes, when they tell us the solifa notes, not. Solfa notes include we have do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Now we look at do, re, mi, fa, so, la, do, re, mi, fa. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. 
Now these ones are what we call the soluble serum. They usually have a half a plate and two dots that start to fold. But that is not the reason. Our reason is what are the soluble notes? Do re mi fa sol la ti do. These are the soluble notes. Pick for a small a story and producing stored sound. Uh, what are sound devices? Sound devices are materials used with recording and reproducing sound. Methods used to store sound by recording sound on devices, by writing in sulfur notation. Examples of devices used to record and store sound have cassette tapes, digital video disc, this is called a DVD, then we have what called a compact disc, the CDs, video compact discs, the VCDs, computer discs, and very many others. Then you have examples of devices used to reproduce a stored sound. Examples of devices used to reproduce stored sound. Uh, we have re radio cassettes, we have video disc players, computer monitors, gramophones, digital video disc players. Then we have this one's very important. What are those sulfur notes? A do re mi fa so la ti do. So that's how we do. When you come back next time, number six, we are going to look at the human ear. So we shall look at the human ear in the next lesson. But I love you so much. Then, after all, I'll bring here the topical questions we write them in our living room. I love you. Take care of yourselves.